Hi everyone, it's Kara. Welcome to our Monday recipe. Today we are making fusilli carbonara. So bacon and egg pasta. We've got, our pasta's already cooked. I'm about to add it to this, but we've got eight slices of bacon chopped up. I use turkey bacon. We have one onion minced up in there, and then I have a tablespoon of garlic. Calls for a clove of garlic, but I used this uh, minced garlic here. Minced onion, minced garlic. Then a fourth a cup of white wine. It's optional. Um, I don't have white wine, so here's the substitute. I used apple cider vinegar, put it in the bottom of the fourth of a cup measure, and then I filled the rest of it with chicken bone broth. So that is a substitute if you do not have white wine. So that is what is sizzling in there right now. The next step is to add our pasta back in, stir this up, and then we'll add the egg mixture. So let me get the pasta and I'll come right back. All right, so I tossed the pasta with the garlic, the onion, and the bacon. Now I've put in four eggs, which I use egg substitute here because I'm allergic to eggs. So I use just plant-based eggs and three tablespoons of just egg equals one egg. So 12 tablespoons is what I had to use of this for four eggs. Then this is from a reviewer, but she adds a fourth to a half of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I added a fourth of a teaspoon of that. She also adds three fourths of a cup of half and half or uh, cream. So I'm using this plant-based ripple half and half uh, dairy-free alternative. So three fourths of a cup of that. And then half a cup, but I actually did one cup because another reviewer said to do more cheese. So one cup of grated Parmesan. I use the Bio Life Vegan Parmesan. Um, you stir all this together. You want the pasta to not be hot. So I always drain my pasta and run it under cool water to stop the cooking process. So I did that here and I've got it on a very low temperature because you don't want the eggs to cook because then it sets up and it gets like really thick. So you don't want that to happen. So I put it on cooler pasta and I've already got the Parmesan in there. I've already got the nutmeg in there. I already got the cream in there. So it's looking pretty good. You can add parsley now if you want to. I'm not a huge fan, so I'm not going to. And then they said salt and pepper if you like. I might add a little bit of pepper, but the bacon is pretty salty. So I'm gonna taste it first to see if I need any, um, any salt. But I'll add a little bit of pepper here. All right, so that is our finished product. It was really fast, so <laughs> not too long from start to finish. So bacon and eggs for dinner, bacon and eggs pasta, spaghetti carbonara. This is from the allrecipes.com dinner spinner app, so I will put the link to the original recipe below. The name of the original recipe is spaghetti carbonara two, Roman numeral two. So I will, again, link that below. Give this one a try, it smells delicious. Happy Monday.